Um, stay tuned so you will um, soon know how to make it so let's get before we begin make sure you have these three apps right here um, which are cute cut pro photoshop touch and fonto once you have those apps um you are going to go into photoshop touch and then you want to press this button and press um blank document and press ok then we're gonna save this for now <clears throat> And open up Fonto, press on the camera, press plain image, choose the white one, and press use. Then you're gonna wanna um, go ahead and tap anywhere on the white screen, and then you're gonna type in your name, so I'm just gonna type in name, like that, and press done. You can ch change font, and... Yeah, yeah, you can use Lucky Sky and Light and Laundry in a Solid. That's the two ones that I found the best. So yeah, then um, I'm gonna do this all capitals. And then I'm gonna make it a little bigger. Um, yeah, you can also do this stuff. So I'm just gonna do the color pattern and choose red and dark red. And part, you're gonna do this vertical and press Y then go stroke. Gonna do it with um, yeah. Then um, I'm going to say, you need to save it, and once you save it, um, you kind of want to go into um, Photoshop Touch again, and go into your saved document, and you're going to, want to press the plus button, plus again, photo layer, photo library, and name. So let's get started. Press OK. Let's make this bigger, so something like that. And we're going to zoom in. Then we're going to go ahead to the magic wand tool. We're going to select the white background. Go on here and press clear. And we're going to want to do this with the uh, spaces in between the letters. So like that, press clear. And yeah, once you have made um, the background transparent you can add some effects so what i'm going to do actually is just go to um polygon selection tool do this with like triangle then you're going to want to do go to setting adjustments and like to contrast this is optional of course i just i just like doing this because it looks shiny so there we go then you're gonna wanna, once you're sat satisfied with your name, you're going to press done and save. And you're going to press this button and press save to camera roll and PNG. Make sure you do a PNG or else the transparency won't be there. Then you're going to want to go into um, QCAP Pro again. Invincible. Press the plus button and create. Press done. Press plus and so then we're gonna wanna take a photo and choose it. So let me get mine and once you do you're going to want to um select it by double tapping it and oh, come on and you want to make it like um Let's make it, oh, sorry, let's make it four seconds long. And yeah, then once you do that, um, you to press OK. And you're gonna wanna go into transition step and let's do fade in. And I'm gonna do this about two or three seconds. We're gonna do press the turn button a lot of times so to turn in the intro so uh, something like that and sorry for the lag by the way and it looks something like that
and so then once you do that you're gonna wanna um uh, actually let's do um the transition pool and do it like that so then we're gonna go into um the photo library again and get another one um we're gonna get more of these so then we're gonna make the um we're gonna do the, the orientation a little bit different like um then the normal um then the normal orientation then we're gonna get the um transition and we're gonna make it bigger and like so yeah that looks kind of cool i guess and then you're gonna make um um copy it by pushing the copy button of course and once it says not enough space uh, you're gonna press ok and then you're going to get in uh, the same picture again and you're gonna make it the make the orientation the other way like so and yeah that gives us a nice effect we're gonna go custom transition i'm gonna do the same thing like we did with the other one which is make the picture bigger and once you are satisfied with the size we're gonna copy the um uh, copy the transition to fill the whole image like the other one and yeah then we're gonna get the last last image um again so when okay we're gonna get that big and yeah then we're going to um make the transition again custom transition and we are going to make that small like so we're gonna make it bigger like like the other ones of course and once we've satisfied that we're gonna copy it like the other so i'm gonna adjust mine and we're gonna copy it now and yeah we're gonna fill the whole image now we have 10 seconds which is the normal um, intro um length so then we kind of want to um go ahead and um, add a um, um, add some music. So we're just gonna press. I'm just gonna choose my music. So I'm gonna adjust it a little bit. I'm gonna play around with it and see where I can put it. And yeah, I guess that's cool. I guess. And we're gonna do some transitions to it to make it look cooler. I guess. We're gonna do fade in, fade out. Then we're gonna do this a little shorter or maybe a little bigger. And we're gonna do this one a little shorter like so look something like that then you're gonna wanna get a shockwave intro which is to get one you're gonna wanna go into um, youtube and search no test no text shockwave and download the video and you're gonna have something like this and as you can see in the background there is the shockwave itself and yeah, basically, you're gonna wanna lower the volume that has background music on it. So, yeah, then, basically, you are done. So, let's take a look at it.